All right, thank you. We are going to start this news hour with some breaking news that happened overnight. A house fire in Lakewood. This is on uh, Chase Street, South Chase Street here. One person taken to the hospital in this one. Lindsay Sublon outside that home joining us live now. Lindsay? And Mitch, we're still trying to learn exactly how the condition of the person who was taken to the hospital, but we know three people were sleeping inside this home early this morning when their smoke alarms are actually what woke them up. Then they could smell the smoke and they immediately called 911 and evacuated. And that's when firefighters arrived. Right now, there's a building inspector going through that home, and you can see that firefighters here are pretty much wrapping things up. But they say when they first got out here early this morning, flames were shooting through the roof. Now, by the time when we got here, I want you to take a look at some of the video that I shot on my cell phone. You could just see a little bit of hot spot still flaring up. Now, keep in mind, this is more than an hour after they got that initial call. So you could still see those hot spots flaring up on the back. What the fire chief tells me is that the fire took over the basement, the middle part, as well as even into the attic. So this was very difficult for them to fight. And there was a lot of damage done to the back side of the building, back live here. You can see, again, the front side doesn't look like there's too much, but they've got that building inspector going through here right now trying to determine just how bad it is on the back side. Still no idea what caused this fire this morning, but they do think it may have started in the basement. They're going to get fire investigators out here to start going through all of that. But again, one person taken to the hospital, and as for the other two, they're not going to be able to stay here probably for the whole holiday weekend as they kind of go through just how much damage was done inside in this building. Live in Lakewood, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.